history of chemistry sounds interesting today we would be focusing on some of the major uh, people who led the development in chemistry and the major chemists that were there so what were the developments that were seen as a part of historical evolution of chemistry so the very first uh, scientist that we talk about is levoisier levoisier's work has been interesting he worked on the metric systems and he ensured that there were uniform weights and measures that could be uh, explained and again he stated the law of conservation of mass he also explained the method of chemical nomenclature which talked about ruling the uh, basically the rules for naming the chemical compound so definitely it was a very significant development during that time so levoisier's work very very important then we have another important scientist dalton dalton's theory has been well renowned he is known for his modern atomic theory and he is also known Known for one more interesting concept that is law of multiple proportions and the law of partial pressures. So uh, the concept of partial pressure and multiple proportions were laid down by Dalton. So Levoisier, I repeat again, he focused on metric systems, the weights and measures, and law of conservation of mass. Dalton focused on atomic theory. Besides atomic theory, it was law of multiple proportions and law of partial pressures, which we would cover in our separate lecture. The next important scientist that we talk. about is the development of berzelius and pascher so berzelius talked about various chemical formulas and symbols he discovered some major compounds and elements some of the important elements he discovered are uh, silicon selenium thorium and cerium so four elements that were discovered and have been credited to berzelius have been very very important the next important discovery that we talk about is lewis pascher of course the concept of pasteurization which avoids the spoilage of the food products pasteurization of milk is the most common thing that you have heard so it talks about basically heating Uh, at a given temperature and rapidly cooling it off so there are various ways under which pasteurization is done the idea is to remove any kind of harmful microorganisms that are pro- uh, present in the milk so pasteurization technique by lewis pascher was very very important the next important development that we see in the history is mendeleev now mendeleev as the name comes up we know he was the first to develop the periodic table he founded out the concept of periodicity and properties within groups uh, of the elements that are there so he developed a systematic periodic table during that time but that periodic table had only 66 elements and this was the known uh, number of elements during the time of mendeleev he were he was also able to find out the atomic masses for the same he also predicted the location within the table for the unknown elements that would be discovered later on which would have similar properties and uh three yet to be discovered elements that he predicted was very very important and those were scandium gallium and germanium so these three elements were predicted by him that these could be the future elements that could be there the next important development we focus on four major scientists the first scientist that we talk about is uh alfred nobel now he was a swedish chemist he invented the concept of dynamite and later on in his accreditation and name uh, the nobel prize have been awarded initially nobel prize was awarded in certain subjects but later on it was awarded in many more subjects the next development was seen by david bohr and he was a danish physicist he is known for his contribution towards atom The next important contribution that we see is of Rutherford the Rutherford's atomic nucleus model has been very very important uh, and final uh, finally one more important uh, uh, chemist that we must know about is Madame Curie and she is known for her discovery on radioactivity she discovered radium so uh, these were some of the major chemists that we uh, know about now alfred nobel has been famous because based on that you have nobel prize similarly 
Curie was one who was Madame Curie was one who was awarded the Nobel Prize. So you can understand that relation as well. And then Bohr and Rutherford's model on atomic nuclei have been very very important. The next important discoveries we have seen from India as well. But before that, let's talk about Mosley. Mosley was an English physicist who basically gave the concept of atomic number. And then from India, Prafulla Chandra Ray, he uh, talked about the establishment of chemical factory. In India which was later known as the Bengal Chemical and Pharmaceutical Works Limited. So Prafulla Chandra Ray's contribution has been important. Two major contributions from India, again Hargobind Khurana, his contribution has been very very important, uh, one of the Nobel Prize awardees again and he uh, explained how nucleotides basically control the synthesis of protein and these nucleotides are present in nucleic acids. And the last important development is by uh, Ramachandra Rao, uh, Chintamani Nagesh Ramachandra Rao. He talked about uh, the developments in solid state and structural chemistry. His present areas of interest are specifically nanotechnology. So those are some of the major chemists that we have seen from India and globally. We would be covering many more interesting lectures in chemistry in the coming sessions. Stay tuned. Have a wonderful day ahead.